Simply put, Hong Kong is one of the most amazing places on the planet. Tell me I'm wrong. Hey everyone, it's Sir Ant in China. Whew. I've had a day in Hong Kong and now I'm going to start making my way home. My unerring sense of direction has once again not let me down and I'm coming out of this beautiful park with flamingos, a bird sanctuary, statues, fountains, trees older than time itself and just a beautifully gorgeous place and then directly across the street out of no pre-planning on my own is exactly the place that I'm going to go to catch my bus to get home. How cool is that? So that does buy me a little time, so I'm going to have a little bit of a look around the shopping mall. And I want to show you what I'm seeing right now because it's just really, really cool. All right, so with the park behind us, the huge golden building right next to us that has got the bus station that's going to get me home, I saw something down at the end of this row here that looked too good to pass up. So we're going to go have a peek. I haven't been to this area very much before, um, at least not this particular part of it, but I'm kind of thankful that I randomly made my way over here today because I'm seeing something which I hope you're all going to enjoy as much as I do. Uh, the waterfront in Hong Kong is stunning. It is literally one of the most amazing things here. And I had no idea this little viewing area was even available. So we're going to go and have a view. <laughs> Just unbelievable. Look at that building there with the big hole in the middle. New construction all over the place. Big brand new MTR station over there. Well, let's see what we got over here. All right, so that, my friends, is the city of Hong Kong. I believe that is central. The place way up on top there with the really funky building is the peak. I have been up there. It is amazing. You get a view of the entire city of Hong Kong on the side of the uh, waterway that I'm on. And there's also Madame Tussauds Wax Museum up there, which was a lot of fun. But just what an amazing view. Right here is the giant golden building that I was talking about that houses the Hong Kong City or the China Hong Kong City Shopping Center, big hotels. I think a couple of big hotels, as a matter of fact. Got the really super cool giant building with the hole in it on the other side of the water here. And even though it's been kind of gray and cloudy here all day. You can see that off in the distance, way, way, way off in the distance, we've got a sliver of sunlight on the water. We've got the big boats. This giant uh, tower here, probably 100 stories. You can see that the LED lights are already on, although at this time of day, they're not very visible. Right next to it, this is a giant apartment building. Um, it would be expensive as hell to live in this apartment building, but man, oh man, would you have a stellar view because your view every day would be this. Just unbelievable. Even got dolphins over here. This is why I come to Hong Kong. Honest to God, this is why I come to Hong Kong. It's, there's nothing like it in the world. You've got the old traditional temples the beautiful jungle parks, the wildlife. Uh, and then you've got this modern metropolis. You've got the waterfront. You've got the cargo ships, the cruise liners, the little hydrofoil yachts. Who wouldn't love this, honestly? And if it weren't for the fact that I was gonna be heading home shortly in about another hour or two, everything here would be lit up. And the entire the other the entire uh, 
skyline over there would just be glowing. But that'll be for a video for another day. I think if I'm going to come back and look at that sort of thing, I should bring the missus with me so she can enjoy the trip too. We are going to be coming back in June and we'll be here in the evening. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll uh, book a hotel and stay overnight in Hong Kong, make a little date out of it. We're actually going to be seeing the daughter off. She's going to be heading back to find her fame and fortune overseas again. So the wife and I will be on our own. Look at this thing here, the Mei Ju Hu. So there you go, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today on the channel. Uh, I shot a lot of video today, so you may see Hong Kong related videos for the next little while. Hope you don't mind. This is my first little venture out from Shenzhen in a while, but certainly not going to be my last. I love it. And I hope you guys all enjoyed it too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out and we'll see you in the next video.